The woman who police say confessed to suffocating her young son and burying his body in the playground at an Albuquerque park was in court today. Her lawyer tried to get that confession thrown out. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez was there as a mountain of motions were argued. Crystal? And Dick, the judge says he found no proof that Tribio was forced to giving up her rights so the night she told police she killed her son. Tribio is accused of killing her three-year-old son Tyrus in May of 2009. Now, days after the boy's body was discovered buried in an Albuquerque playground, police picked up Tribio. Before questioning, detectives say Tribio signed a waiver of her Miranda rights, then confessed to suffocating her son twice. That confession will be heard during her trial, but today another delay will push that trial date back. The state asked for more time to conduct its own mental evaluation on Tribio, saying their out-of-state expert will need not be in town for weeks. A defense said that throws them off track. My stance is, is that we did uh, try to be ready for this trial, and I did with the resources I have the best that I could. And when we came to the, now the state court, argued back the defense is to blame because they were late to announce their insanity defense. An upset judge allowed the continuance, pushing the murder trial date back. Now, that wasn't the only thing that got under the judge's skin today. During testimony, the judge ordered Tribio's sister out of the courtroom because she's a potential witness. Her attorney argued she is a victim and should be allowed in court and even interrupted the hearing twice. The judge told her no again, saying, don't make me throw you out of my courtroom. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, again, the mother in this case is Tiffany Turibio. The judge did deny the defense's motion to dismiss a child of chi or charge rather of child abuse resulting in death. He's still considering some other motions, including whether there should be a change of venue and when to set the new trial date. Detectives say